Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to restrict user access to catalog items based upon the criteria of a user. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand why restricting access to certain catalog items within your service catalog is important, and how to restrict access using user criteria. Restricting access to certain catalog items within your service catalog is a common use case because you may have items within your organization that you only want available to certain users, and you don't want just anyone being able to access and order them. For example, maybe you have a high-performance laptop that is only available for C-suite employees of your organization, or maybe you have networking equipment that should only be available for members of the internal IT team. These are all pretty common examples of why restricting access to catalog items is important. Now that we've covered why restricting access to catalog items is important, let's take a look at how to restrict access. For today's example, we're going to restrict access to the sales laptop catalog item to only members of the sales department. To get started, go into the navigation filter and type in Maintain Items and click on the Maintain Items module located underneath the Service Catalog application. You'll be navigated to the Catalog Items list view where you can see all available catalog items in the system. In the Name column header, I'm going to search for Sales Laptop. Now I'm going to click on the Sales Laptop catalog item to open up the form. As you scroll down towards the bottom of the form, you'll notice there are related lists for available for and not available for. These two related lists allow you to control who the catalog item is available for and not available for. If you add a user criteria to the available for related list, then this catalog item will only be explicitly available for users that meet the user criteria defined in that related list. And in the not available for related list, all users in the system will be able to see the catalog item except for those that meet the not available for user criteria. Now that we've covered these related lists, let's go into the available for related list and create a user criteria for only members of the sales department to see this particular catalog item. To get started, click on the related list and click on the new button. A blank user criteria form will now load. In the name field, this is the name of the user criteria. For this example, I'm going to enter sales department. Underneath this field, you can see we have users. This field allows you to specify what users have access to this catalog item. Next, we have groups. This field allows you to specify what groups have access to this catalog item. Then we have roles. This field allows you to specify what roles are required in order to access this catalog item. Next we have companies. This field allows you to specify what companies can access the catalog item. Then we have locations. This field allows you to specify what location a user has to be from to access a catalog item. And finally we have departments. This field allows you to specify what department a user needs to be in to access the catalog item. You'll also notice there is a match all field. If this field is set to true, then all of the criteria specified in the above fields needs to match for a user to see this catalog item. Now that we've covered all of these fields, let's define the user criteria. So since we only want members of the sales department to see this catalog item, I'm going to select sales in the department field and click save. Now that we've set up the user criteria, Let's impersonate a Bell Tutor who isn't part of the sales department and navigate to the service catalog. And you'll see that when we search for sales laptop, nothing appears. But then when we impersonate Fred Luddy, who is part of the sales department, he can successfully see the sales laptop. And it's as simple as that. Setting up a user criteria for the visibility and access of catalog items takes a few minutes to set up and can prove to be a powerful feature within your service catalog. And that is all for this tutorial on how to restrict user access to catalog items in ServiceNow.